Good morning, church. I'm looking forward to bringing you a devotion today from the book of Joshua. In chapters 3 and 4, we see an, an exciting event that takes place. The Israelites need to cross the Jordan with the Ark of the Covenant. We, when they get up to the Jordan River, it's as high as it could be. It's flooded even. And the second their feet go in the water, the waters part. And God provides a way for them to get across. And he tells them to take stones, one for every tribe. And when you get to the other side, build the stones there as a marker and a reminder. And it says in Joshua 4, starting in verse 6, These are to serve as a sign among you. In the future, when when your children ask you, what do these stones mean? Tell them that the flow of the Jordan was cut off before the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord. When it crossed the Jordan, the waters of the Jordan were cut off. These stones are to be a memorial to the people of Israel forever. Now I ask you, do you have any memorials or or spiritual markers, I like to call them, that remind you what the Lord has done for you, significant things the Lord has done for you? I have one. It's a picture here. About 12 years ago, I went on a mission trip to Thailand. It was a difficult time in my life. Didn't seem like... It was really the best time to go. I was kind of having some panic and anxiety attacks, which uh, were very out of character for me. But with the support of my family and my friends, I went thinking I was going to do all these great things. But honestly, when I got there on a Sunday, when we went to church with the Thai people and our mission group, we started singing praise and worship, and I just started sobbing. And God told me in my heart, Tina, I brought you here simply to remind you that I love you and I'm in control and I'm taking care of things. And we were singing this song, Come, Now is the Time to Worship. So I snapped a photo of that and I still have this to this day as a stone reminding me of what God did. He didn't just cross me over a Jordan River. He took me to the other side of the world simply to tell me, that he loved me and that he was in control and he would never leave me and be with me. That was a significant time in my life. So I marked it with this picture. I want to encourage all of us to remember the things that we, God has done for us. And if you're able to, create a marker of some kind. So when you look at them, you can share that story with others as well. God bless and have a wonderful day.